Hi friends! So, today, or tonight rather, I watched the episode called Cat Fingers. And, um, this was a very interesting episode. Uh, a lot like the last episode, this one had some very disturbing imagery. Um, but we will get into that later. Um, it started off with Stephen uh, having a water fight with his dad because they were wash washing, like, the mayor's truck or something, um, or soon-to-be mayor because it was a campaign vehicle or whatever. Um, and Amethyst showed up as a cat, and Stephen was like, oh, I want to learn how to shapeshift too. So, um, against Pearl's warnings, Amethyst um, taught Stephen how to shapeshift, but um, uh, there are, are, are the if I could speak English. There are a couple things that I want to point out that kind of stood out to me. Um, the fact that when Amethyst was first talking about it, um, Stephen's dad was like whoa, magic stuff, should I go away? Like, I thought that was kind of funny because it kind of reflects how real dads act when there's, like, talk about menstrual cycles going on. So, um, I wasn't sure if that's what they were really going for, but it was kind of funny to me anyway. And kids won't be able to pick up on that kind of stuff, so, you know. Um, um, the other thing that stood out to me was that I was impressed that Steven was able to shapeshift at all anyway, considering his powers aren't fully realized yet. So, um, that was pretty cool. Even though he didn't completely shapeshift, he only turned his fingers into cats. And so, like, from here up, really. Um, but anyway. The cats appeared to have a mind of their own because he was going around and showing off his cat fingers to random people he knew. And, um, yeah, they basically acted of their own free will. They didn't like water. They liked being pet. Um, but the main conflict, like, Stephen thought it was really cool, um, so he didn't really realize it until later, but the conflict was that they didn't really function well as actual fingers because he would try to pick stuff up and they would hiss and stuff. Um, so obviously him having cat fingers would become a problem if he needed to use the bathroom. So yeah, he needed to figure out how to turn his fingers back quickly. Um, well, that was also a problem because the gems had to go out on a mission that was sort of an emergency, so they didn't have time to help Steven out. So Steven had to figure out how to do it on his own. Um, well, here, here was the part that made me laugh. When they were going off, um, Pearl was like, oh, well, we need to help him. And Garnet was like, we can, it's a tectonic emergency. Pearl was like, she turned to Amethyst, Amethyst, I blame you. And Amethyst is like, eh, that's fair. <laughs> and just shrugs her shoulders. I thought that was funny. Um, what I didn't think was funny was that Stephen was now abusing his friend PT on the job. Like he did with his dad in an earlier episode. I still don't like that they're condoning that, oh, just be as obnoxious as you want and you'll get what you want from these workers, like, ugh. but anyway, um, so Steven stayed home and he tried to turn his fingers back using the same method of, like, just thinking what he wants to be, like, picturing his own fingers, I guess, um, and trying to turn them back. But it backfires on him, and instead he starts sprouting cats out of everywhere on his body. And uh, this is where the episode gets really heavy, and the imagery gets pretty horrifying. Um, he goes to his dad for help, 
and at this point he's got like a total cat tumor body and I feel like uh, this might not be true but I feel like the design for the cat tumor body that Steven has was heavily inspired by um, the anime movie Akira um, I'm not sure if any of you who watch these videos have seen that movie, but I did do a review on it, so, um, I, I left out, uh, the horrifying imagery in my review, just because, uh, some of it I didn't actually want to watch again while I was editing my own video, because, ooh, it gets really, really, uh, <laughs> out there let me tell you but um yeah going on a tangent the cat tumor body's horrifying it reminds me of a horrifying anime movie that is really good but just has some imagery that eh, doesn't sit well with me i am quite squeamish um but um so steven goes to his dad for help and he remembers that the cats hate water so he basically goes through the car wash and that gets the cats off of him somehow. I don't quite understand how that works, but I suppose if the cats he created have their own free will, I guess they have the will to make themselves disappear, but isn't that like kind of making it so they're no longer alive? Hmm. I don't know. But Anyway, <laughs> I'm thinking way too deeply into this. <laughs> um, so yeah, everything's good. Um, the gems get back, and they see that he took care of the problem himself. And they were like, oh, Pearl, you should have more faith in Steven, even though he did have to get help to get them to go away. He didn't get them to go away all by himself, but... Eh, he was smart enough to figure out what to do, so I suppose he deserves some credit. Um, they repeat that that's fair joke from before, and um, the real heavy tone of the episode, the dark tone that was there earlier, um, is kind of made up for in the end uh, by all of Steven's cat puns. He was like, oh, I was thinking of these all morning, and he was just saving them for when they got back, and, um, let me tell you, they were pretty great. Um, so, or should I say they were perfect. <laughs> he used that one somewhere. Um, I forget if he was, like, saying he felt perfect or something. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. My overall thoughts on this episode, um, I really, really liked the imagery used in this episode. Like I said, it reminded me a lot of Akira, which is really cool. Um, and I liked the concept. He's kind of learning how to use his powers slowly, but he still needs to get a handle on controlling them so that they don't, like get out of hand and make things crazy. Um, the humor, there wasn't a lot of humor, um, just like little parts because like I said this episode had a pretty dark tone for the most part, um, but the times that there were jokes, um, I laughed a good number of the times. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this one overall. I think um, it's probably my favorite episode at this point. Um, that'll probably be changed later on. Uh, well, maybe not. I think it's kind of tied with the episode um, where they go to that island with the, oh, the cheeseburger backpack. That's what the episode is called. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of tied for my favorite so far with that episode because for two different reasons. This one, I really liked the visuals and the darker tone. I'm very into dark toned cartoons. Um, 
which is why I really liked Teen Titans and stuff. So, yeah. Um, I don't know why. I, I just, I just do cartoons that, you know, make you think and make you feel emotions are really cool. But, um, anyway, so I liked this episode for that, but I liked the cheeseburger backpack for the character interactions more. This one didn't really have a lot of interactions between Steven and the Gems other than um, Amethyst teaching Steven how to shapeshift, which I kind of liked. Um, she wasn't like an angry teacher. She was really patient. She was like, well, we can always try again later if you're not feeling up to it. But he was like, no. And then when he just did that one little finger, I was kind of expecting her to have a sarcastic remark to it, like, oh, that's all you could do. But no, she was, like, really happy for him, so... Good. Good. Um, yeah. So, you know, um, I'd like to see a little more interaction between him and the gems in the future, because I feel like, as of now... Steven Universe as a cartoon is focused more on Steven by himself, um, but I'm pretty sure later is when um, you see more of the gems because I know a lot of new ones get introduced. It's not just those three all the time. I have seen so many pictures and so many memes of the other ones. That's how I know everyone says I'm like Lapis and uh, I have a friend who has cosplayed several of the gems, so I know a little bit about them. But, uh, yeah, there's one who comes later on who kind of reminds me of Lemon Grab. I think it's like Yellow Diamond or something. I don't know. I just saw the picture of that face, and it reminded me of Lemon Grab from Adventure Time. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> Who knows, the personality could be completely different. But, um, we haven't gotten to that yet, so... But we'll get to that eventually. Um, until next time. Bye!